Welcome back, everybody, to our season seven premiere. Look, we have guests. It's, ama it's amazing. We couldn't think of a better way to kick off our new season than by bringing back some of our favorites. You hear the band Yam House start our show every day thanks to the awesome things theme song they did for us last year. Actually, exactly a year ago today. Over the past a few nights, they rocked the state fair at the Liney Lodge. Look at this. That's the guys performing to a massive, massive crowd of the fair. Welcome back, the guys of Yam House, Lars, Seth, Jake, and Zach. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, that seems massive. What is it like on stage looking at that crowd? Very loud. Yeah. <laughs> it was the loudest loud crowd we've ever played in front of. Yeah. It was yeah. crazy. Seriously? Amazing. Yes. Yeah, unreal. Serene. I'm still coming to you. <laughs> out, of, out of all the crowds you played, that's the loudest? I think so. Yeah. I, what it was. It. Yeah. I think the pent up energy, people yeah. want to get out and just all scream, and it was, yeah. It could be the sweet Martha's cookie. <laughs> yeah. could be adding to it. Just yeah. grease in the hands yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> What is it, uh, you know, you guys were on during the during the height of the pandemic at the very beginning when we were doing home shows. What is it, what was it like, what is it like getting back in front of an audience? Mm. I'm still processing, to be honest, how I feel. Uh, obviously, it's pure gratitude, but it's, it's sort of like being thought out, I guess. I feel like I was like frozen in the last year and just having to like just remain calm. And so I feel like I'm melting on stage. There was a point where I was just like, tearing up and just staring yeah. at everybody and they were just screaming and I just was like <laughs> so you feel like you're in a cryogenic chamber yes exactly yeah. I feel like Austin Powers waking up after 30 years and it's the 90s yes and yeah. I had to take a really long pee yeah that's what, what it felt like <laughs> <laughs> sorry do you remember that scene yeah it's Kendall remembers scene. that she laughs at, the, at that joke yes thank you Kendall <laughs> what, how about for you guys what, what, what is it what was it what is it like going back in front of an audience oh it's so refreshing I mean first time playing a full show in our hometown I think since the pandemic and man it was just unbelievable during our song too many people same kind of moment I think I was tearing up as well just so surreal just to see that many people still caring about our music and mm -hmm. just bringing people together again is, is fun look at that crowd because if, if, if you if people are just watching us especially in our in, in Seattle and stuff and they don't know you guys correct me on the timeline you guys were gonna go on tour, right? Yeah. And then, boom, the pandemic happened. Am yep. I right on the timeline? You are right, yep, yep, absolutely. We had a summer tour scheduled that was a couple months. It was our first headlining tour. And then obviously, starting in March, uh, we had to cancel the Palace Theater show, which we've now rescheduled 875 times, it feels like. <laughs> and, uh, One yeah. more rescheduled. Yeah, 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 yeah. So God bless anybody who still has tickets to that show. You're amazing. You're hanging in there. So. Well, I, I was just asked, uh, for, uh, it was on social media, what the, like, the negatives and positives of the pandemic and what's changed. Mm. I thought of you guys immediately because I said, as far as entertainment, what it forced a lot of shows, bands, is I think you know where I'm going with this, is they had to innovate on the fly. And if you couldn't be in front of an audience physically, you turned to social media and you found new ways to connect, different ways. Did that give you any comfort during that time, the forced innovation? Like, because you guys were all, yeah. you guys were all over social media. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I think it helped just to stay busy, you know, like keep your brain yeah. active. Yeah. Because if you think about what actually is happening right now, it's like you can go crazy. Yeah. So I think it was nice to play bingo, you know, stay, <laughs> stay connected. Love bingo. Um, yeah. yeah. I played bingo a few times with them. I, I will say that. <laughs> but you guys have a new. Okay, tell the folks about the new uh, fall tour, and it starts. Holy crap, it's Thursday. I know. In Oklahoma, what are morning. you doing here? Yeah, You guys got to go now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Oklahoma City, tell us about this tour. Yeah, so we are opening up for a band called Blue October. Mm -hmm. um, we had some connections with that band, and super grateful that they're asking us to come out, but it's like 60 dates. 
We leave tomorrow morning and then we get back like December Maybe Christmas 7th time. or yeah, something yeah, like that. Longest tour we've ever done as a yeah, band. Terrified. Yeah. Okay. We're very excited. Now I want to know details here. So are you, did Oprah, do we have a van? Do we have a plane? Do we have mm. uh, some Our private plane? Do we have, plane uh, do we have right mules? Now. What do we have? <laughs> yeah, what do we have? Yeah, yeah, little yeah. burrows? Yes. Yeah, so we like got that. van and trailer. Yep. Van and trailer. Van of yep. Montana is our van and then Hall McCartney is our trailer. Hall yeah. McCartney. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is why I asked him. I knew. true. Yeah. Now how big, because I've seen your, I've seen you guys in various states of travel yeah. so that's why this fascinates me how big is the van it's a, it's a 12 passenger it's not massive we're still you know just in the you know cram in there mm -hmm. find somewhere to sleep if you need we're switching out driving roles we're mm -hmm. not even taking a fifth person out with us we're keeping it just really the four lean, of us yeah. really tight and we're just gonna take on the country literally I think it's 21,000 miles yeah all in Yep. Oh a good amount. So that's a lot. For five. That's, yeah. That is that is a lot of together time. Yes. That is a lot. Who oh, yeah. who among, like, I know there's certain friends, like, when we travel, I love them all equally, but I sleep better with some in a room, like, if we have to get oh, a couple yeah. rooms. Mm -hmm. Who pairs off the best? Like, their sleeping patterns match. We kind of typically have consistent. broken off with Lars and Zach in one room yep. and Seth and I in another room. Yep. But mm -hmm. we're all combined for this tour. One room. One room. Well, we share beds and they yeah. share, yeah, we yeah, share yeah, beds. Yeah, we yeah. share beds. Yeah, it's, it's going to be cozy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cozy is a good word, I think. Cozy. Yeah. It's we'll a good word. Know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The guys are sticking around for the rest of the hour. We'll talk about their latest music next. For more information on the tour, merch, and more, go to yamhouse.com. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> it's going to be cozy. <laughs> Look at Lars' hair in that one. Wow. That's, That's the great. video for the EM House's new song, Whatever It Is, released uh, this summer. Where's that, uh, where'd you guys do that one, the video? We were in LA for that. Really? Yeah, Los yeah. Angeles. What, what, what is it like, you guys are all from here, if you guys don't know, they're all from the area. Do you, do you enjoy the coast? Do you enjoy LA or is it, I, I, there's a lot of bands and stars that just can't wait to get back here. What, what's it, what's the vibe like? I you do? Say, maybe we should all say, I feel very excited to get back to the calmness and still of walking around in the Minneapolis area versus LA. Um, it's like, you know, influencers out in the wild doing crazy stuff. Yeah. That stresses me out. <laughs> <laughs> influencers in the wild. Yeah. 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 You guys? Yeah, I think especially when we go like during the winter, it's like I need to go to LA, mm -hmm. and then I'm we're there nice for a break. week, and I'm like, I think I'm ready to be yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel feel the same way. Seattle, we love, but have love you guys been? Have you performed? I love Seattle. We haven't performed there. We, performed we play yet. there though for. In yeah, we do. We'll, we'll, be, we'll there. be there no, for the first time. And now you will again. Hello, yeah. Seattle. Book Hello. them. Book them. They're fantastic. Wow. Uh, I want to halibut in Seattle. Oh man, Ooh, really? Halibut? That's the best fish. It's so good. And halibut? Seattle's the place to go. <laughs> hey, I didn't know we could get the best halibut there. Everybody. Thanks, <laughs> Seattle. Yeah. Uh, tell us about with the 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 inspiration for the song, the new one. Um, so that song came together. Uh, Seth had a demo for it and had the music kind of kicking around during quarantine. And then we brought it down to Nashville. We worked with a, a producer, Mark Needham, and a writer named Aaron Raytier. Um, and he's got some Lady Gaga creds, which I thought was cool. We were kind of starstruck. We've star heard of struck. her. Yeah, she's oh, cool. Yeah. She's a little her. known artist. <laughs> yep. And yeah. we were trying to just write a feel-good song in the midst of arguably some of the worst times ever. So we just decided to write a song about just letting go of all the things that are like kind of weighing you down. It's not a uh, ignoring them, but it's just a for a moment, whatever it is that's not good for your soul, just pause for a sec, let it go. And what's your hair thinking right there? Um, I think my hair is, is trying to escape my scalp and run away from the horrid <laughs> things that I'm putting it through. Uh, it is dead. It, it looks and feels like a wig in that video, but it's yeah. not a wig. It's true. That's real. Yeah. yeah, yeah Lars died it during the. Well, yep. For videos, I always wondered this. Who comes up with the concept? Because you have the song. Is it a collaboration, or does a producer come to you, or, or do you come up with a concept and then you hire a director? Give me the Reader's Digest of the birth of a music video, this one in particular. I'd say so far we've always just worked with somebody that we really want to trust and empower, 
and then throughout the process we'll weigh in uh, where it's needed but this one was our friend Amanda Johnson and she from pretty much the start to finish yeah. just like yeah. knew what she wanted to do came, came up, up with, up the with concept. this concept yeah. and we were like yes this is very fitting and she, she was our roommate she lived with me and my wife for a yep. while all of us together for a while yep and then she moved to LA she right moved at the to beginning LA. of the pandemic mm -hmm. and started doing like some production on movies and stuff and so she was already out yep. there she had a great team yep. already set up for us to go and just like yep. so it was like rice aroni just add water and stir exactly. for collaboration. Yeah, she killed it. <laughs> well and we also we were uh, we saw your we spotlighted your drone video uh, we actually had dude here doing you'll see it yeah, soon of course um, yes, how, yeah how was how was working with Jay if you guys don't know you all know the trending video of flying through uh, uh, the Bryant Lake Bowl and yep. then he did yep. I mean he's done these guys did it at uh, First Avenue what was that like we love Jay I mean he's, he's he's become a good friend of ours at this point and yep. every time we do a project together we're just like what's gonna come out of this yep. it's gonna be something crazy we actually yeah. were at the fair yesterday yeah. shooting with him that's yeah. right he said it you <laughs> yeah. okay. doing a fair video with yeah him. yeah, yeah. I'm just always amazed he hasn't decapitated anybody yet with that Thank drone. Thank you. I know. He's like moving through and everybody's like, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, close yeah. calls. Very yeah. close calls. But terrifying. Yes. yes. He yeah. said he put little rubber things to protect the blades. I go, I don't feel safe. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I don't. That's like right, he had it flying like right here. Yeah. 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 Literally yeah. right here. Do we know if he's hit anybody? I, don't I know. Kendall has he? He's hit Kendall. He's hit Kendall. He's, hit Kendall. <laughs> He's, hit Kendall. Yeah, yeah. He's to work with Kendall. Kendall yeah. was practice, his boss. He so practiced crazy. on Kendall. He learned how to do it around That's here. That's right. That's why sometimes uh, Kendall quacks like a duck sometimes. Right, Kendall? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The guys are sticking around after the break. We always play a game when they're here. Today, we're bringing back one of our favorites, most likely two. Ooh. Let's go. When we come back. Back after this. Let's make it a good day. We do it our own way. Let's make it a good day. Oh, no matter what they say. Every day. That's our theme song, everybody. And I love saying this, our music video. I mean, wow. we never thought we'd be in a music video, but we are. Hey, we're back with the guys from Am House. Every time they're on the show, we play a game with them. And today's game is called Most Likely To. So you guys can kind of figure out how this is going to go. I'm going to read a statement, and the guys have to vote for the person that it applies to the most. So here we go. I haven't even seen these. Here we go. Uh -oh. Now, I was warned in our meeting that some of these are a little risque. Ooh. Okay. That's, what ha that's what happens when you spread over to the West Coast. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <sighs> okay, most likely to eat something off the ground and not care. <laughs> wow, there Lawrence. wasn't a hesitation, no Lars. No hesitation. Yeah. I almost ate a Sweet Martha's cookie off the midway. I, I had a hold back. Ground. Have, have Lars, they give baskets or buckets full of them. I know, but I. There's yeah, so many free ones. I would have done it. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta stay fair. healthy before tour. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have done it for sure. Was it smushed? No, it, it was, was perfect. It, I, it, was, it was fresh. Drop. I had just dropped it onto the midway concrete. Oh, it was from you. It was mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that would be still not good, but that's fine. Not good. <laughs> oh, this is good. Most likely to forget a bandmate's birthday. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's me. Yeah, I'm so. yeah. yeah. He so actually did. I think you did for your memory. I'm most likely to forget most things. Yeah, he doesn't remember. <laughs> okay. What he for lunch. <laughs> then maybe you'll then you'll probably be the answer to this. I'm going to go off this one for a second. Yeah. I'm horrible with names. I have friends uh, that will, yeah. as someone's approach me, they're just like, it's like Veep. They're like, okay, that's uh, Sandy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who is most likely to forget names when you meet people? Probably Seth. Yeah, Seth. I think in well, general. One time, yeah. Seth signed an email. <laughs> He was, oh, he was yeah. trying to sign his name, and he signed the name of the guy he was sending it to. He was a space <laughs> cadet. He forgot his Two own ben name. Ben signed Ben. Yeah. And Thanks. we call him Ben. I hear you, yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. Oh, yeah. Most likely to leave the biggest tip. Who's the biggest tipper? Ooh. Yeah, maybe I would Lars. say Lars. Yeah. yeah I I'm a so. big tipper. I actually give Seth a lot of crap if he doesn't tip enough. Yeah. I like. Are you not a good tipper, no, Seth? No, he's fine. He's fine. He's just Hold an average phone. tipper, and I expect more of him. <laughs> and we've had fights about yeah, it. I think it's... Come on. He yeah. used, Lars used the word fine. It's You're fine. You're a fine oh, It's tipper. fine. I yeah, like yeah, to yeah. tip with the amount of service. 20%. He's strict about it. I'm like, dude, unconditional tipping love. I know. Like, I, yeah. I agree. I respect that. I think it's okay. a great It encourages people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see here. Um, oh, most likely to join a reality show. 
He wouldn't mind. Yeah, probably. So. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, because he's single, they'll have him yeah. on like Bachelors in Paradise or oh. something. You I know? would hate it, but I would crush go. it. Yeah. yeah. Would you now? But seriously, because Ted, producer Ted, said, would you go on a dating show like a Bachelor, or Bachelor in Paradise? I just don't think they would like my personality. I'm just too like adverse to uh, trauma. It's kind of a curmudgeon. I'm, and I'm kind of a curmudgeon. You yeah. It, you're adverse to trauma. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, okay. He, he might stir go things up a little just bit. to promote Yam House and have like a Yam House. Yeah, they'd be like, "How's the situation?" I'm like, "Please listen to our band Yam House." Zach has they'd, dating they'd app accounts where it just says, "I'm in a band Yam House. I only have this to check out Yam yeah. House. So please check out Yam and House." And people say like, and "Oh, people I checked your band out. This is cool." Seriously? Yeah. Yes. Girls sure. imagine them be like, "You're just promoting your band. Up. You're yeah. a monster." But you're in a band. I mean, that's oh, you're automatically <laughs> like halfway down the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Come on. Really good. Let's see here. Oh, most likely. To cut their own hair. Hmm. Ooh. Zach, you just did this. My brother cut my hair at our cabin on uh, Saturday. Impromptu. That's a brother cut? Yeah. After that looks real good. Yeah. yeah. Congrats to cut. Tyler. Yeah. Thanks, Tyler. Yeah. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Tyler. Nice work, yeah. nice work Tyler. Yeah. You did a good job. I mean, welcome. the edges are real nice. even. Yeah, he's a dentist, so he's very pre like, precise with his hands. <laughs> So we're like, you can probably cut my hair. It worked out well. It does, it does he work on your teeth too? Does, does both, yeah. Does, full, hey. serv full service. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you Neck and up. Yeah. Cut yeah. your hair and give you a root canal. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I love this. Good one, Jeff. Here we go. Most likely to eventually become a cat lady. Whoa. I think Jake. I don't oh. know. I'm not a cat, I'm not a cat I person, though. You. I, just, I may vote me. I think I would vote you. I think I would I don't too. Know. Yeah. I love the, you, the you are You're an animal, all around animal. I love yeah, animal. Yeah, I would yeah. have to have like an animal sanctuary yes. someday. But, but also the solitude, you know, because yeah. the, the stereotypical, I don't always like it, and we'll inevitably get emails, but, uh, you know, they just love their cats. They don't yes. really like people. Uh, yes. Sure. That's not Jake. I, I think it might be Zach you. Zach might have the personality, but the unwillingness to enjoy cats. Yeah, I have the personality of like, don't talk to me, I want to be yeah. by myself. So put us together, put me and Zach together, and you're a perfect cat lady. Cat lady. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect I just figured out I'm a cat person. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> final one. Most likely to show PDA and not care. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember one time, okay, Jake's <laughs> girlfriend at the time, right? Yeah. Uh, we, we, we go in the van, and they are in now their wife. own, now his wife, they're on their own bench in the van, and they're laying, I'll never forget, they had this formation <laughs> oh, where no. they were both somehow sleeping, <laughs> extended out, and Gets their feet were stacked on top of each other. They were every other and foot. And Zach has a picture of it. I it's like picture, yeah. her foot, his foot, PDA. her foot, his foot, and they're just laying on this bench. It's like a like, parfait. It yeah. was yeah. insane. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. what's going the on The picture, here? honestly, it was it was even kind of weird for me to yeah. looking at I can't it, believe you did that. It was in our van. It's in our van. Which is semi-private. It's like they're still at work. Jake Jenga. Yeah. Laura, Seth, Jake, and Zach. Wow. The guys of Yam House. For more information on their fall tour, new music, and more, head to yamhouse.com in Seattle. Book them. Every club owner, book them right wow. now. Well, they're on tour until, like, Easter, but that's fine. <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be back to wrap things up right after this. Thank you, guys. Oh, that's fantastic. Jenga. Jake Jenga.